Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is going over the, at the time, best-selling smartwatch on Amazon. It is called the Willful Smartwatch for Android Phones Compatible iPhone Samsung IP68 <gasps> Swimming Waterproof Smartwatch Sports Watch Fitness Tracker Heart Rate Monitor Digital Watch Smart Watches for Men, Women, Black. For the purposes of this video, I'll just be calling it the watch. The watch comes in right about $40, so with the feature set it supposedly provides, it is a fantastic deal. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is going over all of these features and deciding whether or not if it's worth $40 or if it's just another cheap knockoff. So flipping the box over to the back, we can see some of the features that it comes with. Up at the top, we have a heart rate monitor, a uh, calorie Predometer, 14 sport mode, distance. It has a call and message reminder, which is really just notifications, a sleep monitor, bell reminder, sedentary reminder, and again, it is IP68 waterproof. You can see below that the different colors it comes in for this purchase. We went with the pink one. So let's go ahead and slide it open. And right on the main box, you can see the Willful logo right there. The packaging is actually really nice. It's magnet and it just opens up like the door here. You have a little pamphlet to some customer service information and then you have a quick little cheat sheet on how to charge it and how to disassemble the strap. Just as a side note, the strap is a standard watch strap that can be replaced, but there have been reviews with people having trouble actually replacing it. So also included in this box is the charger that you can see here. It's just a simple clipping mechanism. So now let's go ahead and actually take out this watch, take off some of this packaging, and go ahead and peel off this little screen protector. It does give you some instruction, but it's pretty straightforward from here. If we flip it around to the back, you can kind of see what the heart rate monitor looks like. So some initial impressions on the build, it's actually built fairly well. It's an all plastic design and you can see that it does take heavy inspiration from the Apple Watch. Here I went ahead to try to turn it on but it wouldn't. So after fighting with it for a little bit, I took it home, plugged it in and it turned right on with a full charge. Now it does run a little small so it looks kind of funny on my wrist so I threw it on my fiance's wrist and it looks absolutely beautiful for a $40 watch. Next, we download the application that seems to be fairly universal between all of these generic smartwatches. It has somewhat questionable reviews, but in my experience, it seems to be a fairly decent application. Pairing the device is pretty straightforward, and once it is paired, you're met with an interface similar to any other fitness app you'd expect, with the ability to start workouts, set goals, and change other settings within the application, such as notifications and connecting it to your preferred music application. Once everything was all set up and ready to go, the first thing I decided to test was the actual pedometer. Being that this is the important feature, it is incredibly important that this is accurate. So what I did was I started on zero and counted my steps to 100 with a end result of 97. I walked another 200 steps with a end result of 299, meaning it's within three to five steps of making it actually fairly accurate. The watch doesn't come with GPS functionalities, but there is a GPS option within the application itself, but you will have to use the GPS on your smartphone. From the actual watch face, you can go ahead and swipe left and either start an activity, monitor your heart rate, use the relax application to do breathing exercises, manage your alarms, access your music controller, your timers, and various settings, including the ability to actually change your watch face. Unfortunately, there are only four watch faces available at the moment. The sleep tracker in the watch does seem to work pretty good. You see here on the screen that it records deep sleep, light sleep, your time awake, and you can't really see it here, but it does give you kind of a graph of this over time. Actually starting an activity on this watch is fairly easy. All you need to do is give it a swipe select activity, then hit start on the actual activity you want. It'll give you a little countdown and begin the activity. On the actual activity screen, you can see your heart rate, the time that you've spent in the activity, your steps, calories burned, the distance that you traveled, as well as your music controller. And then when you end your activity, you just confirm it, and then it will give you a little summary of what you've accomplished. There are quite a few different activities to choose from, and they don't really change what it measures, other than some of them do GPS tracking if you have that enabled on the application, but it does help you log what you've done. As far as the notification function goes, it does work fairly well in telling you what messages you've received or what calls you're getting, but you can't really interact with the 
these notifications other than declining calls or clearing the notification from the smartwatch itself. So overall with a $40 price point, I am generally impressed with both the design and the functionality that it provides. If you're looking for the cheapest thing you could get that looks fairly good, has good step counting, and provides you with some basic smartwatch functions, this is one that you may want to consider. And with that $40 price point, this would be very good for somebody with a physically demanding job, especially one that puts devices like this at risk from getting damaged. At $40, it definitely won't hurt as bad if you accidentally smack your wrist on something and break the thing, compared to doing the same thing with a $400 Apple Watch. If you're looking for a good GPS watch, this is not the one to go for. And if you're looking for smartwatch features such as maps or other third-party applications that you can download this is probably going to be something you want to overlook so if you're interested in purchasing the watch there'll be a link in the description if you have any experience with other watches in this price point please leave any comments down below I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye